Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. And today I'm gonna to show you the absolute easiest way to get a coil spring into Nomad. There's a much easier way than doing it by hand in Nomad. And we're gonna jump out and go into Tinkercad. Now this is an easy program to learn and to use. I'll have to do a few more videos to show you a lot more that you can do with this. It's pretty in depth for as simple as it is. But once you open it up and download it, this is it right here. Super easy, really colorful. It's really made for kids. It's Autodesk's way of getting people to introduce into CAD. And don't be scared by that. It's super easy. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with a new 3D design. And once this opens up, the one downside to this is you can't just download this on. So if you're stuck where you can't use this online all the time, you know, the best thing to do is go somewhere, download a few of the basic shapes you want to use and just put them in Nomad and save them. And then you're, you're good to go. You don't always have to use them online. All right. So if you come down to the basic shapes, this is all kind of the easy stuff. And most of these we already have access to. But if we go into design starters, just if you happen to click in this, click on more shapes a couple times, you're going to see a spring shape in here and this this will work but the problem is is you really can't change this you know you can change the size you know you can change this and you can change the size however you want to do this and if you push on this you can't use the pencil you have to use your finger but you can adjust this all at one time too which is pretty nice but you'll notice if we click on this menu for the for the helix here nothing you can really do with it you know that's you can change the color and that's about it um, and you can turn it into a hole and cut something but that's not what we want so we're going to trash this come back up to this menu right here where it says design starters come all the way down where it says shape generators click on shape generators and this has a nice little custom set and we'll go into more of these later, but the one we want today is the spring. So just click and drag one in. Now, be forewarned, this is online. So you have to be careful with changing all these settings really quick because this thing is going to jump around on you. But you can change the rotations. So click it up here. You can change the offset, how much it has here. Change the diameter and you know let it give it a second because it may jump back and forth like i said it's it can be a little touchy but you can if you just leave it alone give it a second to load and regenerate itself that's pretty much it right there so i guess like i said you just got to be careful with it don't don't get too crazy with it so that should be pretty good right there now to send this in back into nomad so we can use it hit export I'm going to hit STL and it's going to send it off to air export now it jumped again and I'm not sure which one it's going to be there it is right there okay couple options if you save to files you can save to files and import it just like you would anything else into Nomad you can also just come over at least on an iPad I can come over and just directly send it, it opens it up automatically for you and there it is now be forewarned if you have something in Nomad already open and you're working on it, you want to save that, close it, and reopen a new one. You know, come up here, save it, and then open a new. Because if you directly import, it'll erase whatever you had in there. So you want to keep this. All right, so just like anything else, you can see it's in here and it's it's got whatever name it put it in there. And you can change that there or here in Tinkercad. Come up, you can remesh this if you want and you'll see by the wire it's been remeshed and turn the wire off we can smooth it we can smooth this if you want and you can see there all the lines go away so it's extremely versatile and like i said the cool thing is you can change these you can make several different styles and types now you notice here it's not in the origin and you know all you have to do is do the gizmo come up the gizmo menu hit move origin and it's back to the origin so wherever you put the shape in tinkercad is where it's going to come in here wherever it is on the work plane in tinkercad will be the same here but it doesn't really matter too much now this is going to be huge because we made it really big in tinkercad so we should make it a lot smaller 
and that should be a lot better we go in line with what we have in here if we just added something real quick get used to direct clicking and dragging so you can see there you know you can change the size and bring it way down so easy way to get them in and there's some other shapes we're going to get into in Tinkercad to bring in but it just makes it nice so you understand that you can bring things like this in and change or do whatever you want to so and you could like that you know you can sculpt it however you want just like you would anything else all right if you guys are enjoying these videos please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time all right thanks